Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch, Nintendo 3DS, Pretendo, and Crisis on Android. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC with Yuzu. Yuzu has a brand new version and we've got some better game compatibility. Yuzu mainline version 1098 was just released to the public and we've got an improvement with the general stability for the Switch library. On top of that, it fixes the lockup issue on Mario Strikers Battle League, and Mononoke Slashdown is now bootable. Installing this latest update is really simple and straightforward. You just have to boot up Yuzu and it should automatically install for you. And next up here, we're talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on Android with Skyline. And yes, we've got yet another Skyline update actually a few of them. If you head on over to skyline-emu.1, you'll notice there's a brand new build up here, 1251, and this is not the turnip build, so don't get too excited about that just yet, but I still have some good news for you there. If you have a Mali GPU, you'll want to pick up at least version 1246. With version 1246 and now version 1251, a bunch of Mali crashes have been fixed. For example, these three games here no longer have that dreaded Mali crash. Yes, performance still isn't the best, but this is a massive leap forward for that GPU. For some bonus content, here is Cuphead running on a Mali GPU. Mali still has a ways to go, but this is amazing. Now, for those with a Snapdragon processor, the community has been hard at work here testing out Turnip Drivers. Dark Souls is booting. Kamiko is running amazingly at 60 frames a second. Borderlands Game of the Year Edition is booting. Not playable, but booting. Now, for those of you who want to be on the cutting edge of things and possibly test out the turnip build of Skyline before it's officially released, you absolutely can. Head on over to the Skyline Discord, click the pin here for the pin messages, and the APK you're looking for is Custom Driver UI 3, and that will give you the special build. Now once you've got that, the second file you'll need is drivers-4.zip, and that has those turnip drivers you're looking for. Once you've got drivers-4.zip on your phone, unzip it just once, and you should have four different zip files after that. Then install that brand new version of Skyline and boot it up. Once it's booted up, hit the settings button in the top right hand corner. From there, click on GPU driver configuration. It should be at the bottom of the screen. From here, click the plus button on the bottom right hand corner and navigate to where you just unzipped drivers-4.zip. From here, click on one of the files you just extracted. You should get a nice little message that says installing GPU driver and it shouldn't take too long before the new driver is available for you. Once you've done that, feel free to hit the plus Plus button again and repeat this step three more times to get every single file that was extracted. When all is said and done, you should have a bunch of different drivers available. Feel free to experiment and test them out and see what works for you. Different drivers will work differently for different games and especially on different phones. And if those steps are a little bit too complicated or you just don't feel like doing them, you don't really have to worry. The Skyline development team is currently working on a few different bugs but we'll be posting an updated build on the Skyline page once it's all done, which will probably be in a week or two or possibly three. And speaking about bugs, next up here we're talking about Nintendo 3DS emulation on Android with Citra, just not the version that's on the Google Play Store. We're talking about Citra MMJ, the version of Citra designed for performance as opposed to emulation accuracy. MMJ stands for Subscribe to Mr. Sujano, and this version just got a brand new update just a few hours ago. As always, I will leave a link to the GitHub in the description below, so feel free to check it out. This version of Citra is free and open source. And this version here, the latest release anyways, has some bug fixes as well as some updated shader cache files which may or may not help out the performance of some games. Next up here, we're still talking about the 3DS, but adding in the Wii U, and we've got some news about Pretendo. For those who are unaware, Pretendo is a free and open source replacement for Nintendo servers for both the 3DS and Wii U. The development team has been hard at work behind the scenes to get Pretendo compatible with CMU, and the latest update here says CMU is getting more stable, and they will soon be able to legally ship everything you need to get online with CMU. Now, Pretendo won't work with Nintendo's official servers. They are replacement servers. But at the same time here, this is amazing news. Now, I have covered Pretendo in the past. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, feel free to check out one of my previous videos or just check out Pretendo's website. I'll drop a link in the description below. 
I am closely paying attention to this one. Last up here, this is a really fun one. Lewis Gaming Test has Crisis up and running at full speed on an Android device using Exagear. They have an entire tutorial on how to do it, and I'll leave a link to this video in the description below. I highly recommend checking it out. So if anyone ever wonders if Android can run Crisis, the answer is yes. Yes, it can. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point. All stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it was Yuzu, Skyline, Pretendo, or Crisis on Android. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.